Rajashi initiated many developmental projects. He put Cochin into a different path of growth and prepared it for the modern world. Nineteen years of his rule transformed the face of Cochin. Peninsular India, end of 19th century. Welcome to Cochin, a minor local port with shallow waters and country boats carrying local merchandise. Mid 21st century, welcome again to Cochin, the most futuristic port in Asia and truly the gateway to India. Dramatic progress indeed, isn't it? Who laid the foundation for all these? Welcome to Parambikulam, the state forest of Cochin. Listen to the story of a tram railway that was set up for logging from Parambikulam forests. The tram that brought in wealth from forests and funded the making of Cochin Harbour and Wellington Island. But where was the money? Rajarshi was an avid trekker. He used to roam in his forests with his best friend and his first chief conservator of Cochin Forest, J.C. Kohar. They discussed the possibility of earning revenue by selling some of these trees. They knew that there is a market for these timber. Shipbuilding industry and many new railways across the world were potential buyers. But how will they transport the timber to the nearest harbour for export? Rajarshi appointed a special advisor for forest management from Madras, V. Alva Chetty. Chetty and a British engineer, Haldwell, mapped the entire forest and gave him a detailed report. Work started in 1901. Ari Hafield was appointed as the tramway engineer. He managed the project. 1905. And finally, the Cochin State Forest Tramway was ready. A total length of 49.5 miles, 254 bridges and culverts, 8 locomotives, 5 sets of inclines, switchbacks, 70 wagons and some saloons, guest houses, workshops, dispensary and a telephone system. From Kohlhoff's initial plan, it had grown into a full-fledged rail service set in one of the most difficult and inhospitable terrains. It started from Chalakudi at 50 feet above sea level, crossed mountain ranges. The highest point of the tramway was at 2,500 feet above sea level. On Rajarshi's invitation, Sir Arthur Oliver Villiers Russell, the governor of Madras, flagged off the inaugural trip on 3rd October 1905. And Cochin State Forest Tramway was born.
Let's flip through the album. Here is one showing the full view of the tram. Ready and set for the trip. Loading timber and tramway trucks. Men, machine and animals at work. Together. These are the pictures of Orenstein and Kuppel locomotives. There were eight such locomotives at work. Zigzag climbs, straight, forward, backward, reverse, up and up it goes. Maharaja's project office all decked up on the day of inauguration. Welcome again to Parambikulam. Today, it's a tiger reserve dedicated to our nation on 19th February 2010. <laughs> Now we welcome you to Rail Trails, an innovative ecotourism concept conceived by Kerala Forest and Wildlife Department. It is a community-based project for the benefit of tribal community in these forests. Today, they take you on treks along the entire 80-kilometer-long tramway route through thick jungles. You can spot the relics of this amazing railway system. Turntables, massive steel bridges, wagons and many other structures all along the trek route. The tribals are your guides, cooks and hosts. They tell you the story of the tramway. They also show you the wonders of nature and explain the intricate interrelationships within our delicate ecosystem. 
This is a beautiful opportunity for you to take a break from your fast forward life. Come, take a pause and rewind in time. We were chosen as one of the most innovative and meaningful ecotourism concepts of India. It is a classic example of need, passion and innovation. Visit us. Your trek supports the conservation efforts. Here, you see seamless integration of the government administration and the forest dwellers standing together to deliver mutually beneficial results with a strong purpose and passionately aligned for a common cause.